Hello guys, we are back in Dishonored. We're gonna go do some more, not quite assassinations, but they're assassinations and since that we're getting rid of the person. What are you doing? A masked ball. You happen to have the most clever mask of them all. Do I? Are you sure about that? Thank you. Alright, Sam. Let's get the hell out of here, shall we? The Boyle costume ball, huh? Well, that'll be fun, but not for everybody. You ready? Yeah, I'm good. Let's... Yes, take me to the Boyle estate, Samuel. You know, I kind of noticed that in a lot of fiction, like, a good companion is almost always named Sam. Or, you know, Samuel. It's, it's kind of weird. Uh, the, the only one I can think of off the top of my, he my head is, uh... Or the rings. Lady Boyle's last party. You've learned that the Lord Regent's strongest supporter is Lady Boyle. However, three women in the Boyle family are referred to as Lady Boyle. The wife of the late Lord Boyle and his sisters, Sokolov painted Lady Boyle. God damn, how many times do I have to say that same name? For, uh, painted Lady Boyle from behind under unusual circumstances that does. Wait, and does not know which is actually Lord Regent's ally. You're being sent to the posh Boyle estate on the night of a costume party in order to determine which loyal, which Lady Boyle you must eliminate. I think this is a fun... I remember this one being a really fun one. Especially once you get inside. Good grief. The Lord Regent's pulling out all the stops for the Boyle family. I didn't think there'd be tall boys patrolling here tonight. Watch yourself, Corvo. They don't fool around. Yeah, I see that. Once you get to the party, that mask of yours will let you blend right in. Enjoy your evening out with the folk of quality. Better you than me. Yeah, I suppose. Shit. Alright, just get me the hell over there, please. Attention citizens. Please clear the street. Alright. What do we have? Okay. I'm invited. Kind of. I kind of invited myself though, so yeah. I know how that's gonna go. Ooh, nope, can't have it. Uh, hmm. Let's see. Obey the city watch. So we've got a rune and a bone charm there. Ooh, fireworks! Neat. Alright. Oh, wait, wait. There's an underground here. That could be useful. I know that there's some bad shit up ahead, too. Guards it. Yep. Pass me by. All the others down with the sickness. Hey, it's served. Uh, hmm. There we go. Is it just those two? Cause if it's just the gives me the creeps. Didn't old Granny Braggs used to live right here? Hold on. Where are my sleepers? Yep. Who? That crazy old lady? They say she used to be a noble woman until her whole family died off. They say she sold them to the outsider. How about this? You do your damn job, and I'll watch out for scary old ladies. Ooh. Did you just walk through him? Alright. I won't take any chances there. Let me make sure that's it. Yeah, it looks like it. Too much to worry about, thankfully. Hi. Da, da, da. So what the hell are you guys doing out here anyway? Here, I'll leave you in the light. Let's see, uh, rewire tool. Cool. Nothing. Enjoy your snooze, then, sir. All right. And I know it's been a while, of course, but uh, Phantom Pain kind of took precedent over that, so 
What can I... Oh, that's a tall boy. Fuck, fuck, fuck! Oh, fuck. Yeah! Okay. Well, so we're trying to be sneaky. Let's see, it was wider. Yeah. I don't remember if those guys have a spot where I can hit them with a trank or not. Hey. I'm gonna put you to sleep. Alright, good, good, good. I'm gonna put you a little further away from the other guys, though. I don't really want you... Being a nuisance to them. I don't, I don't recall if they just... If the Weepers kill or eat... You know, bodies or such. I, I don't know. But we'll just be on the safe side. Alright. I think the bone charm and such should be up here. So we shouldn't have much to worry about. Hopefully. Yeah, I'm hearing it right now, actually. Go away, he doesn't live here anymore. Nice. He who? Dreary. Why do I only have the option to kill this one? That's weird. Granny Rag's Diary, ooh. I can't trust him, you can't love what you don't trust. That's the song the birdies sing when they when the weather turns cold and forces them out of their nice homes they built. Nice home, <coughs> sorry. <coughs> uh, nice home spoiled, spoiled and ruined, useless now. So the birdies hate the weather that betrayed them. They fly away to look for new homes that aren't so cold and dreary, dreary, dreary. I'm leaving too. My my palace is packed, so dreary everywhere I look. I can't bear it anymore. Shit. Uh, uh, uh. Go sleep! Go sleep! Shit! Oh, fuck. This place had three more darts, so oh well. Didn't want to kill him. Because. I'm a stupid pacifist like that. But. Oh. Oh, we're gonna get a talk to, aren't we? I bet. I am. You want to come with me? Is that what you dreamed of? All those months in Cold Ridge Prison while waiting for the executioner? For a moment. Well, beautiful women in the latest fashion. Well. Laughing and drinking Tivian wine. Actually, yes. What of the host, Lady Boyle? I can see all her tomorrows, and I know that either she dies tonight at your hand, or she'll live out her days, month after month, year after year, far away. Even as her fine clothes wear into tatters and her silken hair gets dull and gray. Half the city can see the lights from the party and they dream of the delights inside. Will you tear it all to pieces? In a way. Either way, it's Lady Boyle's last party. Ah. Alright. Whoa. Shaky. Uh, herbs, cool. Dreary, dreary everywhere. You want me to decide, you ask me to do it, there's a hole in the world. Oh shit. Damn. That is, uh, pretty brutal. Ow. Hey, goddamn. Lots of mana pots all over. Alright, so that's the two that were here. Esma Boyle is a running hound. I, sure. I guess. I, I don't fucking know. I don't really care. I'm only after one boil. Where'd he go? Oh, no. There he is. <sighs> He's got explosives and shit, but... Hmm. I don't know for sure... If I should even bother. He's got his back turned. Ooh.
stop singing as they passed, Ed. And they thought she was a witch. You should have seen it. Ran right through the rose bushes and tackled her. Dragged her back to that abbey. And they call us stupid. We had to get a notarized letter from the regent himself to get her back. But she hasn't been the same since. I'm not surprised. I've heard stories. She won't talk about it. One of these days I'm gonna take one of those zealots apart myself. Yeah. So I mean, these guys don't really like them. The uh, overseers and such. That's good to know. Or at least those couple guys don't. The estate district? Holy hell. Uh, <coughs> home to some of the most powerful families in Dunwall, the estate district has been a jewel in the city. It's crowned for generations. No district enjoys finer restaurants or cultural events. No families inspire more admiration or more gossip than the lords and ladies of the estate district. The late Lord Boy on his lovely wife uh, perhaps best emphasized this privileged class of citizens. Their annual costume ball is the talk of high society, creating ripples throughout Dunwall when one family or another is excluded from the guest list. But it's not, but it's not all play that drives the boils. On several occasions, they've generously uh, brought in poor laborers from elsewhere in the city for a week or two to work in their garden or home, providing vital employment for those who need it most. Just for a week or two, though? It's not much employment. Especially a week. That's really shitty. Anyway. Uh, with so much history, the estate district has also seen its share of trouble as fortunes are made and lost. The great Lord uh, Preston Moray and his eccentric wife, Vero, were once the toast of Dawal before tragedy struck and they fell into ruin. Riddled with Riddled with canals and large homes that enjoy historical preservation tax breaks. Oh, I'm sorry, preservation tax breaks. The state district is a place to which we can all aspire. Says you. Indeed. Yep, I remember that at least. Hello. Oh. Uh, coin. Cool. Free money, I'll take it. Shit, is the tall boy moving? Yep. Well, damn, he does have like a weak spot, but. Ah, fuck it. Whatever's in there can't be that good, right? Right? Oh, oh, just a little. That'll work. Alright. We'll stay nice and high up above these fools. Where'd the tall boy go? Damn it! Where the hell is it? Right there. Alright. Turn around, damn you, turn around. Another one! Great. Oh, fun. Alright. Is that? No. Nothing over here. Alright. Uh, hold on. Let me. Let's go ahead and just health up. Uh, get me up there. Please! Thank you. Oh, what is that sound? You're in something like disgusting. Actually, wait, wait, wait. Can I just. I can! <laughs> oh, man, that was good! I'm eating your fucking shit. What, what is with all? Oh, I thought they were baby carriages. Because of the that weird back part. Boil parties. Their own squad after what happened last night. Chances are very good. Uh, hmm. I think uh, the Pendleton brother wanted me to talk to you. Yes. 
Hi, Lord Shaw. Uh, this is a note from Lord Trevor Pendleton. Pendleton? Hmm. What's he got to say to me? I don't know. Pendleton is a gutless, lying sack of shit. I hope he's paying you well for this. For what? I just got a hundred coins, so... What are we doing? Damn cold tonight. Hurry up, and let's see what you're made of. Oh. Lord Pendleton's representative will select his weapon. Oh. A contest of honor will take place between this anonymous gentleman acting for the challenger, Lord Trevor Pendleton. No! And Lord Shaw, the challenged party. You will each turn and proceed to the marked positions and remain facing away from each other as I count down from three. You may then turn and fire Get a on with it. I'll kill this fool and we can all go back inside. Okay, well, about that. Sorry, my lord. <coughs> Proceed. Guess I get on the circle? Alright. Do your worst! Stop. Stand right there. I'm good. Move fast. Oh shit. I think the others might not like that. It's okay. I win! What? I followed him? Wait. Wait, what? Hold on. No. We're going to reload that. That's not fair. I was fucking... I did that. Hmm. Whoa. Oh, okay, well, perfect, actually. Alright, let's try that again, shall we, sir? It's damn cold tonight. Hurry up. And let's see what you Yeah, 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 yeah. Come on, Mr. Wolf. Lord Mask. Representative will select his weapon. Kind of with the one on the left, but anonymous gentleman acting for the challenge of Lord Trevor Pendleton and Lord Shaw the challenge party. You will each turn and proceed to the marked positions and remain facing away from each other as I count down. Whoa. You may then turn and fire Get a on with it. I'll kill this fool and we can all go back inside. Sorry, my lord. We shall proceed. I think I need to have him shoot me, actually. If I remember correctly. At least that's how it's always ended. Like, Stop. Stand right there. the bastard always ends up shooting me at least once. Two. Yeah. One. There you go. How's that? And that's another patron dead. What do we do now? Is that dead? It's lucky we're in demand. I hear the Estermonts pay top coin. No use trying them tonight. Let's see if we can find a little brandy. Let the boils clean up the mess. He's asleep. You can't tell when the guy's asleep? I'm going in through the front door. Or wait, hold on. Before we do. Nope. Alright. Okay. Yep. Think you I... get your own squad after what happened last night? Indeed. I believe so. Alright, uh, go to the Boyle's Ballroom. I think this is where I can do something very clever and funny, which I really appreciate in these kind of games, where you're trying to be this stealthy shadow assassin. And where you do something as clever as what we're about to see. Where is it? Uh, no. Hey, where's the thing? That's Jello. That is that a rabbit? 